All right, so a little bit more for uh, this show for about Gang of Daggers. Um, I was just listening in on Attack of the Show on G4 TV. They were talking about alternate reality games. And what those are is that literally, there you know, it's you are the player, and you know the universe is your game field. So you saw that at Comic Con, was people putting on makeup on their faces and walking around in, cr in crowds, and you know, oh, they call the phone number and get get it, you know, instructions about what to do, and there's a web page and this and that. Um, I thought it was pretty neat. You know, that's pretty interesting. So, okay, uh, for my story, and I had been thinking about that. Well. At, if at one point, you know, these guys established like a little base for themselves, or that, you know, in a sense, we're going to have like one village in a, in a forge, you know, so to speak, a working forge for whatever story of purposes. Um, but uh, if the guys like settled down in some place, they would create like um, a water um, wheel a, a arrangement or whatever, and they would just have they, basically a factory, production facility, uh, and they would start making weapons there. You know, they make weapons to equip themselves, you know, but otherwise, you know, really in battle, they, you know, they're, they're using a special rubber weapon, you know, kind of stuff. Um, but it's, you know, they would make weapons at, you, they would sell, you know, to the audience. So that way you could, you know, buy it. Um, I mean, because the, the idea is that it's a reality show you're watching, you know, or it has that reality sense. Um, and then, then I expanded that idea with a, uh, Okay, there will be an online component. So the, uh, all these kids at this high school, all the actors involved in the show, uh, they have they're on their own message board, and so only they can log in and look at this and that. Uh, but there's like there'll be a fan section, you know, inter you can have. Uh, but that way, you know, really the characters interact with each other, you know, in character. Um, and since so much of it is like just what they say to each other, that's going to be part of, you know, it, it's up to the player themselves if they want to get online or not. So, and be kind of, you know, interesting to see, like, oh, hey, you know, bam, there they are, and, you know, um, being filmed and stuff. Um, then it's just a question of, like, all right, can you sync the action you see and what you're hearing with what the people are communicating with each other? But that's a whole other thing. Um, and then I, the other thing is that the summer times, these kids, I'd have, you know, for the summer blockbuster event, you know, like the idea is that uh, hopefully, you know, if you could uh, have everybody go out, film them running around in the forest, and then you know do some battle scenes, uh, and then call it a you know that's it, call it a month, you know, call it like take off the, the next two months for summer vacation. But um, I think it'd be kind of neat and interesting if uh, you create a camp arrangement and your extras, you know, would be kids, you know. You can basically say, all right, well, kids, you know, 15 or 16 and up, uh, they can come out to this, you know, sword camp, basically. And it's like, yeah, it's, stri it's that. You're going to learn how to fight with weapons and run around. And, you know, ultimately, what, what it is is that they're going to use you as an extra in a film. Um, you know, and that's just part of the aspect, you know. And so that way you can, you know, the camp can grow as large as large, you know. It would have to be someplace, you know, in, in America and, like, in the Midwest, you know, or up in Montana even, but, uh, you know, yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Um, and if the show got enough interest and got enough money, but like I said, you know, hey, you got, um, you know, products and stuff, but that's my idea.